Hi everyone, welcome back to Nick's Diecast. In today's video, I'll be comparing and contrasting the details of these two 124th scale Jeep Renegades. The Renegade on the left is made by Maisto, or Maisto depending on how you want to say it, and the Renegade on the right is made by Welly. In this video, I kind of wanted to compare the details of both, as they are both still being made currently, and they're both kind of priced similarly, which adds, I think, a further degree of competition between them. So I'm going to kind of go over the background of these models, um, compare their pricing and overall availability, as well as all the finer details that they have. And then in the end, we'll kind of have a final verdict as to which model wins in different um, categories of comparison. So I actually got both of these models from CVS, the same CVS. Um, I got this one in 2018 and this one in 2023. Both of them are based off 2017 Jeep Renegade models. Um, the Maisto is based off the Renegade Latitude trim, and the Welly is based off the Renegade Trailhawk trim. So that being said, you will see some visual differences just based off that. And I'll kind of get into those as I also kind of get into the um, overall just quality comparisons of both of these models. You can find both of these models for usually between $15 and $25, depending on where you get them from. Um, Amazon and eBay both have a fair bit of listings for both of these models. The Welly version seems to be more common on eBay and the Maisto version tends to be more available on Amazon. And you can also find both of these models in brick and mortar stores as well. They tend to frequently turn up at pharmacies such as CVS and Walgreens where they do sell um, 124th scale cars there. And sometimes you can find boxed 124th scale models at stores such as Target. In terms of colors and availability, both of these models are still being produced and they both come in a variety of different colors. The Maisto comes in this really cool red that you see here and the orange version, which is actually a metallic finish. And I have seen a light blue version pop up on eBay. It might be a new release, so therefore it's not in Maisto's catalog just yet, but it seems like it is available at least on there as far as that goes. And you can also find the orange version of the model as a model kit. And the model kit's going to be a little bit more expensive, just by a few dollars compared to the pre-built version. But the advantage of the model kit is that you actually get a second set of um, wheels. Um, these have the black in the middle, but the second set of rims that comes with the model kit, they're all silver. And both are actually proper to the real um, vehicle. Both of those wheel trims were an option, at least as far as the latitude trim went. And for the Welly, it comes in this awesome yellow that you see here, as well as white, silver, orange, and I, I believe that's it. I think there might be a red version too, but although you get more colors with the Welly, at least for the Maisto version, it does come as a model kit. But in terms of number of different colors, the Welly version does win in that sense. And I would say in terms of availability, they're kind of similar, although the Maisto does seem to be easier to get. Um, and it is, I think, priced a little bit cheaper just by a few dollars. The Maisto tends to go for between maybe 18 and $22. And the Welly kind of goes for upwards of $23 to $26. So we'll go ahead and get into comparing the details of both of these models. We'll begin with the fronts of both. Now you are going to see some visual differences here because the Latitude trim, of course, does come with these silver um, grill slats. Of course, these should be chrome on the real um, version, but the grills are proper to the trims that these are based off of. The Trailhawk, of course, had the all-black grill, and the Latitude had the silver accents within the grill or, or on the grill slats. But aside from that, the overall quality of the front ends of both models, I would say, um, compare quite well. And I think they're both um, quite well done. The Welly, I think, has slightly better looking um, headlights because they have, I think, a bit more of a reflective quality to them. Although that being said, you do see kind of these two pegs here. But the real Renegade's headlights actually have that same like look to them because the bulb is there. The Maisto version, although you don't have pegs, the headlights are not as reflective. Although that being said, they do have a nice kind of um, pattern and texture going on um, behind the uh, lenses there. So I think the Welly does score slightly higher in that sense. And of course, on both, you have the lower bumpers, which I think in both cases are well detailed. Although I think the Welly has the better fog lights. The fog lights properly kind of stick out and are kind of like a concave pattern, whereas the Maisto kind of has more of a convex pattern. And I think the concave pattern is actually more um, proper in the case of the real uh, vehicle. Both have the front Jeep badges, and I think both are very well done. I think the Welly is a slight bit better because you have kind of the more proper, like, metallic reflective um, quality to it. 
Although both, I think, look, I'm quite well done. They're not stickers and they're fully painted on the vehicle, which is nice to say. You do have turn signals or front turn signals on both, and both manufacturers do just kind of paint them on. Although for the Wally version, you actually have a raised up kind of a metal component where the turn signal is then painted on. The mice, though, the turn signals are just kind of stamped on there, just unpainted on. And both of these are 124th scale models, as I'll keep saying. So some finer details aren't going to be as prevalent as, let's say, a one or as let's say a 118th scale version of the same uh, vehicle. Taking a look at the sides, I think both manufacturers do a great job with the wheels. Both of these rims are true to the real life um, Jeep Renegade, depending on which trim you are looking at. You can see that for the Welly, you don't have the Jeep badges in, in the centers, but that's because on the real Trailhawk, you just had the black wheel and that, and it did not have the Jeep badge. Whereas on this rim, you do see the Jeep badge because this is the Latitude trim. I think overall, in terms of finer details, Maisto does have the better um, wheels. They have kind of a more consistent look to them in terms of the silver paint going around um, the spokes and just the trim. The Welly has okay looking silver, but it's kind of sloppy in some areas and it's kind of faded in some parts too, for whatever odd reason. Um, although that being said, the Welly does include full steering. You don't really see that a whole lot on, on 124th scale cars, but Welly does still include that on their 124th scale cars, which, which I think is um, pretty cool. That being said, though, the wheels are a little bit wobbly because they're kind of independently mounted, whereas with the Maisto, you have the wheels kind of mounted on single axles, which makes it kind of stronger, I think, um, in terms of, like, durability. So that's how the wheels kind of um, pair up. So I think the Maisto does win in terms of the wheel detailing in that sense. And also on the side, you do have nice sturdy side mirrors for both models, and they're pretty much identical in terms of quality and detail. They're very sturdy, and they're not going to break off. Both also have the roof rails. I think they're a bit better detailed on the Welly, although on the Maisto version, I think the build quality is better because they don't move, whereas on here, they kind of bend a little bit. They're not going to rip off or anything, but that's just something to uh, keep in mind, I suppose. And also, you have the Renegade badging on both models. The Welly Trailhawk is the proper kind of red background behind the black letters, and the Latitude Maisto, or the Maisto model of the Latitude does have the kind of black and silver look to the Renegade badges. Both are proper to the real vehicles. The Welly might have a little bit, I think, better detailing, but they're kind of similar um, aside from that. In terms of paint quality, the Welly version did have a fair bit of smudges on it when I did get it. And I thought part of that was because, you know, these are displayed out in the open at CVS. They don't come individually boxed. But then I realized that I have gotten models made by Welly in the past in their original boxes where they do have paint problems. And this one certainly did. I got most of, of the smudges off. You can't really see them too much, but there's like some rough areas, like there's a rough area right there, a rough area back here. The paint really is not, I think, up to par on, on Welly models. And that's kind of odd to see because they're, they're, I think, really good quality aside from that. But that's not true for the Maisto. The Maisto paint is pretty much um, flawless. I can't see any imperfections on here. It's a nice, smooth um, finish throughout. That being said, the imperfections I mentioned on the Welly, you can't see unless you look at it like really closely. But I think as far as overall paint quality, the Maisto does, I think, score some additional points in that um, category. You do have side windows on, on the Welly version. I'm saying that because you will get this door opener tool, which you can then use to pull open the doors. Most manufacturers don't put side windows on their 124 scale cars, but Welly does, which I think is actually a pretty cool touch. The Maisto version don't have the side windows, but that does make the doors kind of easier to open. You can just kind of put your finger in there and pull on it, and then you got it. Take a look at the rears of both models. Here's where it gets kind of um, interesting in terms of the tail lights. Now the Renegade does have these kind of cross-shaped reverse lights. Um, I think they're much better done on the Welly because they're more, I think, finely painted on and silver. Although that being said, you don't have any kind of texturing or pattern on there. The real one I think has a little tiny like Jeep logo in it or something, and it does have kind of this cross pattern. Although the shape is accurate on the Maisto, the silver is kind of painted on a little bit sloppy but they do at least raise up the plastic part where the um, reverse light is. The Welly, it's just kind of stamped on there flat, but at least they kind of stand out more, I think, on here than on the Maisto version, instead of kind of like that sloppy paint. And aside from that, the taillights themselves on both, no pegs to be seen, which is pretty cool. Although on the Maisto version, you see you have this indicator light on the side. That's a part of the kind of translucent red plastic lens here. On the Welly, they kind of cover it and they paint it on in red. So. 
It looks a little bit better on the Welly version, but the Maestro version, I think, scores some extra points because it looks more like an actual kind of side um, view of the taillight on here. Um, but I think both do a decent job as a whole with the um, taillights. Aside from that, both have the third brake lights painted on on the tops of the hatches. They are the proper shape, but they don't really look that well done. And of course, the Maestro one just blends right in because they just paint it in the same shade of red as the body color of the car. So the fact you can't even see it on here means that I think the Welly does score a little bit better in that sense. Aside from that, though, all the badging looks very well done in both cases here. I think this one does have the better Jeep and 4x4 badging. Although that being said, the Maestro version, I think, also has a good kind of um, badging job done back here. You got the 4x4, the Jeep, and then you have the very small um, latitude inscription down there. And then, of course, for the Welly, you have the Trailhawk kind of bird symbol back there as well. Both manufacturers, I think, do the proper jobs with the badging you would see if these were the real versions of the real vehicles. And then with the lower bumpers, I think Maisto has the better looking um, lower lights down here. And the Welly version, they're just kind of almost looking like stickers. Of course, they're not stickers. They're, um, they're uh, painted on, but... This one, I think, has a slightly better um, look to them. And the Welly, in terms of texture, they do, I think, do a better job with the bumper in that sense. But aside from that, everything's very sturdy and I think well-built on both of these models as far as the exteriors go. Now, in terms of opening features, you, of course, have the opening hoods. We'll take a look at the engines of both models next. They both have the V6, VVT. I forget, like, what liter it is or whatever. It does say it on the Maisto, but it is kind of hard to read. Um, both manufacturers do a decent job with the engines. Of course, they're just one single, you know, flat plastic pieces because they are 124th scale cars. But aside from that, the Welly, I think, does win because it has more depth to the engine and you have some more um, coloring in there. That being said, there is no inscription on the main block, whereas on the Maisto version, you do see it. It says V6 VBT or something. I can't really read it because it is just made with like the raised up black plastic um, lettering. Um, but aside from that, though, I mean, the Welly, I think, does have the better, um, I guess, just the overall look of the engine on the Welly is better because you have kind of a more raised up look to it and some more depth to it. And again, they are both single plastic pieces and they're from 124th scale cars. A lot of manufacturers don't really do opening hoods or engine details on their recently made 124th scale cars, but these two brands haven't totally ditched that yet. So I am glad to see that at least they have engines, um, period, that you can lift up the hoods and kind of a look inside. I think some more finer detailing would have been welcome as far as the Maisto goes, but I mean, again, they're 124th scale. And the engines are nice and sturdy. Sometimes you get these cases where the engines move around when you touch them or like they kind of pop out. Both of these are very sturdy. They're not going to be popping out. And then, of course, in the case of both models, you also have the opening doors, which open up like so. They open up on spring-loaded hinges, so the angle at which they open is not that wide, but at least the doors do open, and of course with this one, you have the door opener tool, which you can use like that, and then get the doors opened up. So let's take a look at the interiors next and kind of compare those details there. So we'll start with the door panels. Both have pretty similar detailing on the door panels. They're just kind of a single black plastic piece. You do have some texturing, of course, for the speaker and the door um, handles, though. There is no window buttons molded in here, though, which I was kind of hoping to see, but you don't actually see that. The Welly version, you can see a little bit more, I think, better molding done where the buttons would be. The Maisto is just all flat. Although, aside from that, they have kind of similarly patterned um, speakers, which you would see on the real vehicles. And the Welly, I think, does have the better door panels as far as the molding goes for the door handles and the buttons. The Maisto version, although it is largely um, accurate, there is some, I think, missing finer details. But I think both do a great job for 124th scale cars with their door panels. Next, we'll take a look at the dashboards and the center stacks of both models. The Welly, I think, looks good in terms of the textures and the shapes that you see and everything. Although on the Maisto version, you actually do get the bonus of having painted on buttons. It's going to be kind of hard to see. And if I zoom in just a slight bit, you can kind of tell um, around the screen, there's the painted on buttons. And then you have all the HVAC controls painted on as well. The Welly, although you have those buttons there, they aren't necessarily unpainted on. They are in the accurate spots and everything, but they don't have any kind of paint detail. And the Maisto also has the screen turned on. It does say Jeep on it. The Welly has the screen, but there's nothing on there. It's just a blank screen. But aside from that, I think the texturing and just the overall look of both dashboards is pretty well done. Um, the Welly, I think, has good fine detailing with the vents. You can see with the vents on the passenger side, 
they seem like they're true like perforated vents. The Meister version, although it's the right shape, they don't really go that deep into the plastic. It almost seems like they're like too flat. Um, so that's a little bit odd, but again, they are 124 scale cars. I don't think there's too much to criticize in that sense. And then of course, I think both steering wheels are fairly well done. They have the Jeep logos in the centers, and then you have kind of the button detailing surrounding those. The Wally, I think, does a better job with the steering wheel, but not by much, because I think both manufacturers do a decent job with the, I think, quality and finer detailing on the steering wheels. And then last but not least for the interior, we'll take a look at the seat detailing. The Welly, I think, wins in, in the sense of the overall detailing on the seats, because although both manufacturers do a good job with the shapes of the seats, the Welly, I think, has the more accurate kind of texture, and I guess all the different lines and contours are kind of more present on here. Like on the headrest, you have kind of that trim or like that surround. The mice, though, is just kind of all flat, like a single texture. Whereas on the Welly, you have kind of those extra lines and everything on the seat. So I think Welly does win in that sense. But aside from that, I think both manufacturers do a good job with the interiors. The Meister, I think, wins in the sense of fine detailing on the dashboard, and the Welly, I think, definitely wins in the sense of having better looking seats as a whole. So there's the Welly interior one more time, and then you have the Meisto interior. So it is a pretty close competition in that sense, but if you go into kind of more individualized categories, then, you know, some, then, you know, Welly wins in some areas and Meister wins in some areas in that sense. And that's kind of why I wanted to do this particular video to kind of compare and contrast both of these models. So in the end, if you want kind of an overall verdict of the models, I would say as a whole, the Welly does win in terms of overall details and quality, but not by a whole lot. And I would say these would almost be tied if it weren't for the inclusion or exclusion of certain details or um, build quality on either manufacturer's uh, models here. But, you know, I think it's cool that you can get both of these and the fact that you can get them in two different trims. If you want to get both, that is definitely an, an option for you. But I think as a whole, the Welly does win. But again, not by much. Because although it wins, you still have those issues with the paintwork and the lack of fine detailing on the center stack. Whereas on the mice, though, you have flawless paint and you do have the better detailing on the center stack. So I did just kind of want to compare both of these models. Um, in real life, the Renegade is a fairly popular vehicle, and it is cool that you can get two different versions of the Renegade in 124th scale. And I thought, you know, the fact that you have two different manufacturers making the same car based off the same kind of uh, model year and two similar-ish trims, I thought it would be kind of a good comparison video to make. So. So feel free to comment down below with which one of these models you think wins in terms of the comparison. And maybe comment which one you would end up buying if you were given the choice. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content. Thanks for watching.